Hey, Vision Chasers, this is Dr. Bird here. You know, one of the key indicators in, in determining your success in life is your ability to take advantage of opportunities and may really make the most of them. You know, sadly, there are people out there who don't reach their full potential or they don't go as far as they're supposed to go in life because of their inability to take advantage of opportunity, inability to recognize it and an inability to appropriately respond when opportunity comes their way. Now, I don't want that to happen to you. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to give you three things you need to understand about opportunity. So we're gonna start with my definition of opportunity and that is this. Opportunity is an expected or unexpected chance to advance towards a successful outcome. Again, my definition of opportunity is uh, expected or unexpected chance to advance towards a successful outcome. And when I work with young people, I often remind them of this truth. Your physical growth is automatic. You're going to grow physically as the calendar turns, as each day goes by, you're growing physically. That growth is automatic, but your mental, your mental capacity, your mental growth, your mental growth is not. Physical growth is automatic, but your mental growth is not. And it is so important to remember that because if you're not growing mentally, opportunities are going to be passing you by. That's why it's a great thing that you're watching this video. And it's those who grow mentally who are prepared for the challenges that life is definitely going to throw at them. The first thing you need to understand about opportunity is that opportunity looks like work. It looks like work. So if you have an affinity to try to take shortcuts or, or get it, getting out of, uh, of doing things, you're going to have to change the way you think. You need to be willing and prepared to do extra work. Let me tell you something. Successful people are busy people. Successful people are busy people and they, they, they really benefit from this principle because they do what they have to now so they can do what they want to do later. So it's for you, you do what you have to do now so that you can do what you want to do later. That's the way it works. And with that principle comes so much more freedom. I know it may not feel like it during the time where you're doing that extra work, but what you're doing is you're making a deposit into a bank account and you're, and as you store those, that deposit in the bank account, later you're going to earn interest on that. You're going to be so much more happy as a result of the extra time that you put in, the extra investment that you made. The second thing you need to understand about opportunity is that People will wait for you, opportunities won't. People will wait for you, opportunities won't. And this is also something I tell young people and, and those of you who are past graduation and you're, you're in college or you're, you're working right now, you understand this, but to those who haven't yet graduated from high school, let me tell you something. Handholding does not exist after graduation. Handholding does not exist after graduation. You are fully accountable for the things that you have done and the things that you have not done. You see, each day is an opportunity for you to prepare yourself for a moment in the future that's going to come and you will either be successful or unsuccessful in that moment. And that is going to be entirely up to you and how you spend each and every day and the decisions that you make each and every day. So please don't expect hand holding, second chances, let's bend the rules, getting what you did not earn. Don't count on those things. Successful people do not count on those things because they can see opportunity and they can take advantage of it and they can make their own path. They don't have to wait for anyone. 
And so you don't want to be someone who has to depend on, you know, hand holding, bending of the rules and, and things like that. Because if you have that kind of attitude, then you end up with a, a sense of entitlement. And, and you definitely don't want to live your life like that because life can be very frustrating. And plus you miss out on so many opportunities. So my definition of entitlement is this. It's when a person believes that their excuses matter. Let me tell you, don't waste your breath. Your, your excuses do not matter. Life is about it. it there, there's, there's no gray area. It's either yes or no. Successful people don't give excuses and successful people are not entitled successful people. And that is because successful people know how to identify opportunity and they take advantage of it gladly. The third thing you need to understand about opportunity is that opportunity costs opportunity costs. You will give up something in order to pursue opportunity. And you have to accept this fact if you want big things to happen in your life while you're pursuing an opportunity and taking advantage of it. There is something else that you could be doing, but that's up to you to make that determination in your mind that this is the most important thing. Now, this is this opportunity is what I want to pursue. And again, remember that principle that I talked about. You do what you have to now so that you can do what you want to later. And remember this, you, you can't spend the same dollar twice. You can't spend the same dollar twice. You have to make a commitment. Successful people are committed people. When they decide they're going to do something, they go straight at it because again, you can't spend the same dollar twice. And so you have to accept this principle and give 100% towards what you decide in your heart that you want to do. So then it becomes a matter of willpower and just how bad do you want to be successful? Because there's going to be so many other things that would try to distract you from pursuing that opportunity. And that's why successful people are successful and they're able to commit because they see a seed. When they look at a seed, they see something greater than that seed because they understand that if they're committed, if they're pursuing, 100% then that seed is going to turn into something greater in the future if they continue doing what they're doing. So let me sum those up for you. Number one is opportunity looks like work. You have to accept that and be okay with it. Number two, people will wait for you. Opportunity will not. Don't miss it. Don't miss out on opportunity. And number three, opportunity costs. Opportunity is going to cost you something. And believe me, that price, it, it, it's worth paying because when it's all said and done, you're going to come out on the other end with more than what you invested. And so it's worth it. I guarantee it. So thank you so much for watching. There's a note taking guide that goes along with this video. If you look in the description section, you'll see the details on how to get your copy of the note guide. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And until we meet again, please keep chasing the vision. Bye.